Well, good morning from the Great Northern Exotic Garden. Welcome back to the channel. It's the 2nd of December and we've got several nights of frost coming up. Temperatures down to minus two Celsius, which tells us it's time to wrap up our tender plants for the winter. Starting with the Musabastu bananas. Before we get into the video, big thank you to everyone who subscribed so far. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Really does help the channel grow. Um, pleased to have passed 100 subscribers so far uh, early this week. Let's keep them coming. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut back this Euphorbia shilling guy. It does add a little bit of structure in winter, but it's going to be easier for me to get round to the bananas uh, by cutting that back. I'm going to be wearing my gloves because it does excrete the milky sap, which is a skin irritant. So we'll get that job done first. Right, the Euphorbia has been cut back now. So we've got a better view of what's going on with the pseudo stems. <clears throat> now, of course, for most British winters, the Musabasju bananas are root hardy and they will get away with just a mulch. Um, but of course, that would mean losing the pseudo stems right to the ground and losing the height. So the whole point of doing the overwintering, for those of you that don't know or are new to this, <clears throat> is to protect the height, keep the height. And then in the spring, the plants can grow from where they left off. I've got a few materials here. I'm going to be doing a few different techniques. So, at the base, where all these young pups are, some people like to dig these out, overwinter them in a greenhouse. I'm going to leave them all in the ground and I'm going to use some chicken wire packed with straw and for the taller pseudo stems, I'm going to use a combination of uh, bamboo canes I've got a lot of fleece in there and some string to tie them up and I think that should do uh, fine. But the first job is to cut back all these leaves. So let me go and grab a serrated knife. Keep going till all the leaves are off. Right, the leaves are gone. And now I'm going to get the chicken wire around this base that should protect all of these little pups that have been growing this year. I'd like them to come back next year. So the chicken wire's on, the frame. I'm going to get this filled up with straw um, and pack it out and protects these more tender, younger pups. But these taller pseudo stems, I'm gonna wrap with fleece. They're a little bit more hardier. So let me get the straw, fill it up as much as I can. Right, so far so good. I've bedded that down nicely, fill any gaps. Make sure there's no gaps underneath for the frost to get in, the cold to get in, and the wet to get in. Now some people, use the wire method and the straw method for the full size. Couple of reasons I haven't. Number one, I haven't got any wire, any mesh tall enough. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna build a frame around it with a few tall bamboo poles, uh, wrap some string around and kind of make a frame that way. But I am also gonna wrap these pseudo stems individually with fleece. First layer of fleece is on. Now I'm gonna put the bamboo canes around form sort of a frame and wrap a little bit more fleece around. I've got this green fleece, just looks a little bit better over winter. You don't want a few snowmen in your garden over winter. So let's get that one done now. Right, there's another layer of fleece. That should be fine for now. My last job is I'm gonna recycle this big uh, plastic bag that I got the straw in. That's gonna sit on top to keep the water and the moisture out over winter. The last thing you want is this straw getting wet and starting to rot down. 
And that's the winterized bananas. Like, subscribe, etc. Until next time, goodbye.